What's going on YouTube? Sam with Sam's Range Tracers. Today we're doing a video. I got a new hard hat for one of my new guys. One thing I like doing for the guys is I like giving them a good hard hat for new hires. Um, and, you know, if a guy needs a pair of boots or whatever, we get him a pair of boots uh, if he needs them. So, and it's usually at no cost to them. Um, it just kind of makes them feel welcomed, I guess. You know, they got a little place in the company, care about them, uh, let them pick out their color. Uh, he picked out a good color. Uh, he's got some really high vis stuff. He wanted a green one, but he's like, well, green probably isn't that best in the summer because there's grass. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. So I'm going to show you guys how we install the 50Rs or Cena on our hard hats. I have a really good system. Uh, I should do it step by step to show you guys. So uh, this will work with pretty much any Cena. Uh, the 50Rs are like 250 I think, for one. Uh, you could get a kit of two for like 480 I think. 430 or so, 4, 450 So, let me get a trash can over here. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Because just installing these does take a little bit of finesse. Uh, if you don't have Cena already, this is going to be something you're going to want. To buy, I don't know why this won't open, but you know what? Let's just break it. Yep, there we go. Sam has no patience ever. Uh, the 50R has mesh, so that's the nice part. Mesh system from Cena has uh, a little bit better um, connectability, a little bit faster. Um, these ones have antennas too. I like the packaging in Ceno. Uh, we actually stopped using Ceno up until about a few months ago because uh, I just got sick of them breaking. But when you mount them better or more properly, it turns out to uh, last a lot longer because mine never lasted long. Uh, I know some guys say we've had Ceno for three years, the same Ceno. I know some guys say Ceno didn't even last the first job. So the workbench just has a bunch of metal on it. Don't need the foam. So, yeah, they do have some nice packaging. They give you a lot of spare, they give you some spare parts. That's the charger. Uh, this is the mic, gonna need that. These are the instructions. Don't need the charger. These are booms, gonna need a boom. Uh, these are speakers. The right clip. Extra pads for the speakers, another type of mic, and the what do you call it? This is um mounting adhesives. So all you're gonna need for this is a Dremel and electrical tape and super glue. Uh, that's literally all you need. So first things first. Open this. I'm gonna try and go fast, guys, but I. It's actually kind of, um, I, I've only done three of these, so I don't really, let's see, let's see how fast I can do these. So, give you guys a little bit. Maybe I should put you guys like that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, so you're gonna take one of these. Um, doesn't really matter which side, Velcro or not Velcro. That's all they are, it's just Velcros. Uh, these ones are double-sided. Uh, I think I'd rather trust the Velcro. Uh, on the one, we actually epoxied it. And I almost recommend epoxying it, but this works. But if you want something a little bit more bulletproof, you'd want to definitely... Uh, oh, no, yeah, this one does go like that. Um, you, you an Epoxy, it does work. Um, there's this one that my buddy used. I don't know what it's called, but it only comes off with a solvent. So that clips into here. Oh, hold on. You see, you got to clip it first, then Velcro it. There you go. And then Cena actually just came out with an Arborist type headset, the 33i. Uh, those are supposed to have thicker wires because that's the number one complaint with Cena. It's just these wires are thin. These ones aren't as bad as other Cena's. <coughs> so on the Protos, what you're gonna wanna do, I always take the chin straps off. I hate the chin straps on the Protos. 
So what you're going to want to do is I slide mine right through here. Like that. So it's out of the way. I still use... Do I put mine right there or do I put mine right here? Let me see. No. Definitely like this. Actually, maybe... Where's mine? I gotta look at mine real quick. Yeah, sure. And then... What you're gonna want to do is take off the muff. You just pop it. Oh, man, I'm not even... So you take off the muff. And then... Remember the orientation, because if you see these wires, these wires are going to go right into this muff right here. So what you're going to want to do is find a good angle where those wires are going to come in. So mine would be right here. So keep my finger there. I mean, you can mark it if you want. So right there is a good spot. Then you're going to take a Dremel. With some type of plastic cutting blade or your, uh, I just use a carbide that we use for saws. So, spill everything. So, find your mark here and you take them off apart. You stick your hand in there, put your finger against this. It's kind of hard, it's kind of annoying. And then you're going to want to start the Dremel, and all you're doing is cutting a notch in there for the wire to sit in between the muff. Sorry on low, I'm gonna go high. clean it up a little bit. You can't clean it up too much because it's plastic. It's gonna it's gonna get all messed up anyway. And then there's the other mark. So you can actually do it like this. I do that to start it and I pop it back out come on Man, these are a pain because I like to get right here too Now that that's open, what you're going to do is take these wires, uh, which ones do you need? So this one, the long one, is for your other speaker. So what you're going to want to do, I do, uh, you could zip tie it, you need electrical tape too, I guess. I got tons of electrical tape. So you're going to take some electrical tape. This just kind of keeps the wires a little bit more oriented. Uh, helps keep them not a jumbled up mess. So this is the part that you're going to stick into your muff. Now you need the speaker and you need the mic for this part. So, a lot of problems with the Cena's. Here's another thing you're gonna. Yeah, this is the right side of the helmet. So that's where the mics come in, or that's where the speaker wires are coming in. Well, the mic's gonna come out of here too. So, right around here is about what you want. So now I gotta cut that. So I'm gonna dremel that real quick. 
right there. Yeah, my finger there. Give it a grip on it now. It's flush almost, just a little bit more. Just have to set flush off the rip because you will be grinding the other side. So take this, line up that side, take a marker. So the camera's not too dusty. You take a marker. Uh, all right, that works. Cut that side off now. Ah, uh, there's a shaky. So now the mic will sit in here with no exposed wires. Just make sure it fits all right, lines up. That fits perfect. And how do you make sure it fits? You snap them off shut. The tighter you, ooh, hold on. No, you need to cut more. Barely. Okay. It doesn't shut all the way. You can see there's a little bit of a gap. And you cut more. I'm gonna cut more out of the yellow side because that side's easier to clean up. So, I know I usually don't do like videos like this, like super long but I think it's worth it because a lot of people have problems installing these, including myself, or I used to. Come on, shut. Hmm. Okay, I guess it needs more out of the gray. Because, I mean, let's see, I could go. I mean, it's looking good, but it doesn't want to show. Let me try more out of the gray. I'll oh, make sure it's the right side I'm cut undo. Oh, that might explain it. That's good. All right, so I was looking at the wrong side. Or was I? Huh. Getting confused now, man. Yeah, you know what? Ah, that's funny. I'm putting it on the wrong side of the muff. That's why it's not working. Jeez. You see, that's why I say, like, you gotta watch, because I actually, I like these on the right side of my helmets, and I put on my new helmet for myself, I put it on the wrong ear. I put it on the left ear because I looked at the helmet upside down. So that's what it should look like. We're gonna done. No gap. So now, let's see if we can hang with you guys a little bit better. So now, I'm gonna take this apart one more time. The more you take these apart on and off, the worse they do. And you are gonna stick this harness like so. Let's see. Gotta make sure this side will close now too. 
which it looks like it will. So now you're going to plug these in. Come on. All right, so that one's plugged in, and then you're going to take a speaker. You're going to plug the speaker in. And then I like to tape these too, just to make it. Oh boy, here comes the heater. Hold on, guys. All right, so you see how this is? I kind of just lay it all in there nicely. And at first, you think, oh, well, you don't want all that stuff wobbling in. Well, when you put the muff in, you won't have any wobble. Make sure that's all good to go. Make sure you're using the right side, Sam, not like last time. That is the right, uh, might be upside down. We'll see. Come on, drop in there. Nope. Flip it upside down. <sighs> yeah. These are kind of a pain. Make sure the speaker goes on top of everything. You see, you're trying to shove like four things in two holes. So it's not the easiest. The best thing to do is just kind of grab it all and smash. There you go. And you could wiggle speaker around a little bit better i like to do a test to make sure it doesn't protrude on your ear too much um if it doesn't if here, let me see that's good enough um if you want to go another step fancier which does work um what you could do we're almost done guys i mean we got like one more wire real quick what you can do is when you take this apart Ugh. come on what you can do and i've done this before is you pick some of this foam out um the problem with that is they're now less noise canceling i mean that's like a half inch thick if not more so when you take some of the foam out it does help significantly with more space but i don't have a problem the the they don't suction cup to your ear as well with all this stuff in them but they protect your ears enough where you're not going to have any damage, you know, and you can still hear, you know, what's going on around you, but like the chippers and the saws and stuff, they're going to protect your ears from that. Um, if you wanted to, you could pick the foam out. It would get a better seal. Um, mine, I don't, I don't have any issues with. I, I don't think, I mean, it's different, but it's not an issue. So with this one, so now that this is good to go, you're going to put it back in. I don't know which way. See, I don't wear the chin strap like I'm supposed to. I keep getting you guys out of view. Sorry. So now you're going to... Where does this chin strap grow, man? Oh, man. So snap it back. All right, and you still have motion. You can still pop them and then slide them in. I recommend. I don't really recommend doing that. You can route them a little bit better, but if you're worried about it too, I mean, I'm gonna take some tape right here and just go. Oh well, hold on. No, no, no. One wire here. Did I mess up? Hold on. I think I messed up. This wire. Let me double check my old one. Hold on. Yeah, no, that's right. I'm overthinking things. So this wire, then, what you're going to do is stick it behind. You're going to drive it through. Under the hard shell, or uh, under the, the suspension of your hard hat. As I drop them off on the nasty metal shaving floor. 
You see, you gotta fish it through. It's kind of a pain, but well, good thing you only have to do it once. Yeah, so just feed it through. Come on. It's like doing surgery. All right. I just had it. Ah. All right, feed it through. So now your muff. Feed it through again. And now this is your next speaker wire for your headphone or for your other muff. That is now probably filled with metal shavings for the new guy. So make sure the arrows line up nice like that. Muff's gonna come in. Oh, you're kidding me. It just sucked back down. So it's gonna come in like that. So take your Dremel, take your marker, whatever you want. Double check. Yeah, it's gonna come in right about here. So this wire is small, so you don't need to go too crazy on it. So, all you do is plug it in. Now, when I plug these in, I also electrical tape wrap them. Um, just so, it's just one extra step. Uh, helps keep um, the connection secured, I guess. It doesn't, it's not needed, but it just makes me feel a little bit safer. That's a lot of electrical tape. <laughs> yeah, I don't need six wraps. Come on. Yeah, I don't need six or seven rounds of electrical tape for one little connection. And then all you do now is just make sure the connection's in the hard hat. Now with this one, you could super glue it. You literally just put super glue on the back and smack it in, but they're kind of velcro you know? And then, oh, look at that fit, man. Boom. You now have Sienna installed to your hard hats. Wires on, I, put the, I think I put the wires on the outside. Yeah. I guess one flaw. I guess the only flaw is it's on the, you see like that, how it's just sitting there. That's not a big deal, but one flaw is if I could drill a hole here, it'd have to be a bigger hole though. And they wouldn't be as noise canceling then. So on any rub point like that, I actually would electrical tape it with no mercy because that's going to be the point of failure for that. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So put some tape. All right, Sam, you don't need 18 wraps of electrical tape. On. I don't know why I keep cutting this tape so long. I'm such a wasteful human killing the environment. Well, anyway. So... There you go. Yusina is now installed. Very, oh, hold on. It's not done yet. Your Cena is not done at all. At all. Without. Let's see if you can open it. A boom mic. Wrap it before you talk to it. Uh, the booms actually help a lot. They keep some sound out that you don't need. There you go. You now have Cena installed in the most minimalist way possible. Let's turn these on. Hello. Hello. You're all good to go. Goodbye. You see, very minimal wires sticking out. Actually, technically no wires sticking out. I see a lot of people just mount the wires here. That's, that's not very smart because you're going to go through them. You can't even tell there's Cena on this one. So. Let's check fitment. 
Hopefully I don't get lice from the new guy. Oh yeah. Chin strap needs adjusting. Okay. So honestly, let's see if I can get you guys. Honestly, I don't, this is, I mean, it might be because it's a brand new helmet, but I don't feel any speaker. I, uh, well, no, I don't feel any speakers. The mic's exactly where it needs to be. You could close your shield and the mic, eh, if you just, the mic doesn't even touch the shield. So, yeah, looks pretty slick too. And there's no wires, everything's right here. Now, there is an upgrade you can do. There is an upgrade you can do. Um, for this and basically you epoxy the clip to the helmet because these will wiggle and slide around on you. Not the end of the world. Mine, I've climbed with it a few times and it's okay. So that's my minimal best way to install Cena on a Proto's helmet. I had an old video, the old video is good, but this is the absolute best way. There, I mean, well, no, there is a better way. Uh, costs a lot because we have to 3D print new muffs. And what it is would be, this would screw into the muff. It would have threads built in. And that way you don't have these wires sticking here. It would just mount to the muff. And then you would still have a wire on the other side. That's the best way. But we were going to do that. Uh, my buddy has a 3D printer. And he was going to design it. But it's like, dude, <laughs> this works, you know. Probably, yeah, I'm going to electrical tape these wires right here just to each other. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know it's, like, kind of a boring video, but I take my time and pry into this stuff. I might have to upload it in two parts because YouTube only allows me to upload so such long videos because I don't, I don't, I'm not on, I don't have as many views as other people do. So, please like, comment, subscribe. Hope this helps, guys. I mean... It, it's honestly something very necessary to have on the job. It, it helps productivity. It helps keep yelling down, which looks very unprofessional in my opinion. It helps um, efficiency, you know, and it keeps guys in the clear. You know, there, there's there's less tension because like, you know, this new guy for this helmet, um, he ropes for us. He's, he's pretty good, um, but he gets upset sometimes if he doesn't rope well. I'm like, dude, you're new. Don't worry about it. He's like, well, and he gets all pissy. I'm like, dude, with this, you know, I could be like, hey, I think you have too many wraps on that. Or, hey, you know, we're going to rope this. Are you ready? Just keep stuff clear, you know. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.